This is booting into Linux Mint Cinnamon version 20, the beta that was just released several hours ago. I'm going to run the installer and have a bit of a look around. This is a little bit different here. There's no proprietary software. So that's good to see. And this looks a little bit different, but I'm pretty sure everything will be there that you are accustomed to seeing. We're going to run with the defaults. As this is a virtual installation into a virtual machine. So there was the odd little subtle change to the uh, install process and the interface itself was a little bit different here and there. But other than that, it was smooth sailing, pretty easy, pretty typical for uh, Linux Mint and typical install time and all the rest of it, so nice and easy. We'll have a quick look at the welcome screen. You can see it's got, the, this is a bit new here, these colours. And we'll bring up the file manager. We'll just have a bit of a click across some of them here. We'll go for a bit of blue. And a bit of whatever colour that is there. Orangey sort of colour, brownie orange. Bit of red, some light grey, and you see it has an effect down here on the panel and in the menu. As you can see there with the pink, it also has a dark mode. We'll activate that. There's dark mode. Dark mode in the menu. Dark mode in Firefox. Oops. Back onto the light mode there. So you can see that's even carrying over into Firefox. Just return it to the defaults for the rest of the demonstration. Most of the rest of the stuff in the welcome screen is Pretty typical stuff we're used to seeing in modern Linux distros. So we have some new icons here. This is the system reports. We'll click on that. And we've seen this over the last couple of editions of Linux Mint. We're not going to touch anything here. We'll just have a bit of a look. Some system information, crash reports, that sort of thing. So we're not going to do any of that. We'll leave that for now. Go into the system settings. Have a little play. We've got some extra colours in here too, I think, in the themes. With the icons, we've got some yellows. There, so between that and the between the extra colours in the system settings and these ones here, you can have all sorts of fun there. You can change there and then select a different one here and get a bit of a mix and match. I had a little bit of a play with this before. I'm sure you can spend hours of time in there tweaking it to something that you like. I think these browns might be new too, are they? I remember seeing those before, mint white brown, my dark brown. Mint X orange. And this is quite a lot of choices there. Also quite a few new wallpapers in here by the look of this. Some green ones. And quite a few nice pictures in here. I was having a look earlier.
some quite high quality photographs amongst some of these and a few various other bits I don't know if that's the default or one something similar to that, but that'll do. We'll stay with that. Quick look at the system info. Linux Mint 20, Cinnamon. Cinnamon version 4.6.3. Kernel 5.4. And there's two CPU cores and eight gigabytes of memory that we've got on the virtual machine here. We'll have a quick look here in the Chromium browser and the software manager. And this was mentioned on their website. There's been a bit of talk about this recently. So this is actually a dummy package and it explains it all here and tells you how to get it. Uh, you can install it, but nothing happens. So. We'll leave that where it is. There's a bit of information here about that here on the uh, Linux Mint blog. And this is to do with the snaps that we were just looking at a moment ago. And sort of explains what's going on there. Uh, this is about the new colors that we were just looking at. And unfortunately, I can't show you this because I don't have uh, graphics drivers installed. It looks pretty interesting. You can right click and launch with NVIDIA GPU drivers, that sort of thing. Uh, I'll be interested in that when I get around to installing this on my actual hardware. Uh, but as I say, I don't have the drivers installed here on the uh, virtual machine. We're just having a bit of a look at the beta here. Uh, the system tray icons, you can see there, there's the software updater icon. The software updater looks pretty much the same as it always has. Just the icons, some of the icons are a bit different down here. We'll start the Warpinator. This is a file transfer app. And I'll just start, it. I've got another machine running here with a live USB plugged into it. And hopefully they should find each other here in a moment. There we go. Mint Live Session User. And I'm looking at the screen on the other computer. Has found this computer as well. So we're just going to make a new folder. We'll just call it Warp. And we'll drag it. We'll click on the user. And we'll drag out folder down to here, it's waiting for approval, so I'm going to go to the other machine and click the accept button and there we go, and I'll do the same thing on the other machine so on the other machine I have uh, clicked onto my username and we're just going to drag a folder in there and there you can see instantly here, so this is what happens, you get to accept or decline, so we'll accept it and there it is there, we just got that that one back so you can have hours of fun with that I think that'll be very handy for a lot of people myself if you've got uh, computers on the same network I can see that being uh, a very handy little tool I can see kids sending files from bedroom to bedroom through that so that's Warpinator there's also quite a few settings in here with it Preferences. Uh, the files actually end up, if we open up our home folder here, the files end up here in this Warpinator folder in your home directory by default. Of course, you can change that here to another directory. And you've got some other options there. So, yes, that's a pretty nice little tool there. This is the icon here for 
warp node it's quite a uh, intriguing looking icon so if we click on that it brings it back up or we can right click on it and quit Well, there you go. There's a brief look at Linux Mint 20 Cinnamon. Still in beta, of course, but it's got some nice new features. Nice icons, the Warpinator, the, the new colours in here, and other various goodies. So I hope you enjoyed that.